my name is Brittany Langmeyer, and I'm the Director of Design and Production for Streetwise Magazine. And this week, for our April 4th edition, we are featuring Ronnie Wu Wu, who is one of the longest standing Cubs supporters that we know. And we thought it was only appropriate, since the Cubs are opening, their opening day is April 5th, to feature Ronnie this week. So, um, we all know Ronnie Wu Wu. If, you, if you've ever gone to a Cubs game, you can hear him from all the way across this other side of the stadium um, doing his candid uh, candid cheer which is woo woo and everyone knows that you know Ronnie's there he's hardly ever missed a game um, but his fandom and his passion has spurred not only from the fact that he went to the games as a little boy but probably because of all all the struggle that he's experienced in his life that's something that a lot of people don't realize about Ronnie um, you know when he was a little boy he actually struggled through through abuse. Uh, his mother raised him, but um, she was hard on him. She was very hard on him. And during that time, the educational system, the education system, also wasn't very strong. The civil rights movement was going on, and so Ronnie definitely experienced some of those difficulties, and it, and it caused his life to be very hard. He had a very hard time uh, finding work as a result of that, and. You know, he did okay for himself. He did okay. He worked several janitorial jobs and, and found odd jobs here and there. He worked for a, a pizza place for a number of years. And, and so, all the while, supporting the Cubs and loving the Cubs. And um, something that people don't realize is that he was raised by his grandmother. And his grandmother was his sole caregiver. And she just loved him more than anything. And he loved her as well. And um, he actually lost his grandmother the same year as he lost the love of his life, Anita. They had been partners, companions for 10 years, and he came home one day to, to find that she had passed away. And she passed away from, from uh, a problem with her liver. And so in that moment, he just lost all hope and passion for life. But the one thing that, that allowed him to keep going and the one thing that allowed him to keep faith was the atmosphere at the Cubs, the support of the fans, the love of the game, um, the the life that was Wrigley Field, and so he was able to come back again, and and he's never let go. So I think when you see Ronnie now in the stadium, you'll have a greater appreciation for him when you read this article. And there's there's a lot more to be learned about Ronnie when you read this interview. So so please pick it up and please support Ronnie and please support the Chicago Cubs. What a great organization. Um, and there's more in this issue as well. You can find several feature stories. We have one feature story written by Angela Wells, who's one of our editorial interns. She wrote about uh, uh, the Sudanese children in Chicago and how they are asked to express themselves by creating these sort of drawings with crayon and um, and it's based on the crisis that's happening in Sudan. We also have several uh, a wonderful events calendar created by our wonderful intern Anne Wanzerski. She writes our events calendar every week and uh, we have a, a one of the, the best features in our entertainment section is the best of the best of 175 ways to love Chicago. So that's an event that's going on recently and you should check it out because there are a lot of ways to love Chicago. Um, our editor Suzanne Haney, Suzanne Haney excuse me, wrote about the local school council candidates describe their important volunteer role. So please pick this issue up. It's a really really great piece. We worked very hard on it. Um, and one more thing I want to mention is that our Can TV show is actually going to be premiering this Friday. And we really want you to check it out. There, you'll learn a lot about Streetwise and a lot about some of the articles and issues that are featured in our magazine. And it will begin at 6 p.m. on Channel 21. That's 6 p.m. on Channel 21. And I expect you to be watching. So thank you so much, Chicago. And we hope you enjoy our feature about Ronnie and all the other wonderful things Streetwise Magazine has to offer. Thanks so much. Bye.